Hey, sports fans, welcome to this week's edition of Tahoe Sports Line. We've got Commissioner Tooney returning again and Coach McLaughlin battling a little bit of a head cold. Hopefully that's a sign of new snow coming into the basin. It usually is. Before we get started, let's talk about our Facebook competition from last week. I love talking about our Facebook competition because Jim Blackstone, it's, it's the time to give away prizes. You know, Jim Blackstone taking home a snowmobile tour from Lake Tahoe Adventures and Ron Drake taking away $25 to Sushi Pier. So great prizes. We give them away every single week. All you have to do is log on to the website you see there on the screen, LakeTahoeTelevision.net, and pick the right winning teams. All right, we had a great two weeks of the Winter Olympics. Tahoe athletes fared phenomenally. Uh, look for the celebration party at Sierra Tahoe uh, coming up in two weeks. But we're going to transition this week. You're going to talk about basketball. Yeah, but we're still talking about South Tahoe athletes as well because Wattel High School is the only one of these schools in the area that is playing in the state championship. And their boys start Friday night against Spring Mountain, who is the number one seed from the south. That's the bad news. Now, the boys cruised all year long at Wattel until they ran across a buzz stop in Virginia City, which they got hammered pretty good in the zone final game. If they do get by Spring Mountain, then they got to play Virginia City again. It's going to be a tough task. but. Come on, Warriors, pull it off. Definitely a tough start to the state championship for the Warriors, but maybe they can take a page out of the ski team's book. There's Patrick Kelly and the girls who just took home the state championship in the Giants Slalom. I think Wattel is going to beat Spring Creek. A um, little overrated, coming from the south, is a strong team, but Virginia City, that's going to be a tough one for them to get by. Uh, heart goes out for the local kids, though. Uh, go Wattel. Yeah, Virginia City is pretty pretty deep. Uh, now we're going to talk to you about college basketball as Stanford is going to be playing number three Arizona in Arizona on Sunday. Uh, I'm not a huge Stanford fan, never will be, but I'm also practical. They always seem to peak this time of year. They just beat number 25 UCLA. They go into the, the, the uh, NCAA tournament, always do well. I just look for history to repeat itself and keep an eye on, on Stanford in this game. Danny, have you watched Arizona play this season? They are the number three team in the country for a reason. They should be number one. They are playing lights out. I think that they could easily win a national championship this season. Look for Arizona to crush Stanford at home. I'm with you on this one. Arizona's lost two all year long. Uh, I mean, they're going to be outclassed. Academically, maybe not, but uh, on the court, this is the haves and the have nots. All right, but they still have lost two, so there's still a chance. Whoa, two games. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to the NBA. Golden State's going to be playing Toronto in Toronto, and this is a huge game of playoff implications because both teams are going to be in the playoffs. We don't know who Golden State is yet because they have um, sometimes look good, sometimes not so good. We're going to find out against Toronto and see what they bring with their bigs being healthy and O'Neal and, um, and Bogut. And now David Lee's going to be back. I think this is when Golden State makes a statement that they're a force coming into the playoffs. This will definitely be a test for Golden State. I do like Toronto in this one. I think that they're a very deep and talented team. Plus, they're three in the East for a reason. Mm -hmm. I like Toronto at home in this one. Yeah, no question. This is a playoff matchup, a potential playoff matchup. Both teams very strong. I got to give the, I could go either way on this one, but I'm going to tip my hat to the uh, Golden State, the home team uh, in, in this one. And, uh, you know, hopefully they just pull it out. All right, and then don't forget, we're starting with the NCAA March Madness coming up, so lots to be talking about in the sports line. Yeah, get your brackets in. We'll have it on our Facebook page. Syracuse going to the Final Four. I'm saying it now. Well, I don't <laughs> think so. That'll do it. We'll see you next week.